How's it going, everybody? My name is Sai, and today we're going to be checking out the new Era song, House of Glass. I've done Era once before on my channel, however, I am a big fan of them. Though I will say that Snowblood, their latest song, might have been my favorite song they've ever put out. Um, that was just a really, really awesome track, and it elevated their talents that, you know, were already very, very prominent, and took it to a whole new level. So I'm looking forward to see some of that here. Um, the bar is obviously quite high, so uh, let's waste no more time. Let's get into this and see what we think. My sleep was deep and I did not dream. Dark. Oh. What do we got? Yep, already. Yeah, that riff is fun, dude. Okay. Ready to start? Oh. Pick it up, let's go. Those are some different vocals. I know those are some different vocals. I heard some of them on Snowblood too. That's some tool shit right there. What? That's a really cool, cool guitar sound. Yeah, mixing on these vocals is a trip, dude. Very digitized sounding. Yeah, the guitars and the drums just do not stop on this track, do they? Thank God. Oh, oh that riff was dirty as fuck. Ah, a noisy synth in the back too. Oh yes, 
Oh, yes, sir. There's that logo again. She, that was Era's House of Glass, and that was another fucking ridiculous bang, 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 gah, I'm broken, defeated, I'm destroyed. This will destroy you. Very accurate lyrics, very spot on. They knew what they were doing. Um, so let's get into that. So I said this in the middle of the track, but guitars did not stop. The guitars just went nonstop the whole, the whole track there, and it was wonderful. Um, doing all sorts of technical riffs, fucking making their way around the fretboard, probably a bunch of technical jargon that I just don't really know about, but it sounded really freaking nice. And there is a couple of just really solid riffs in there that didn't weren't necessarily like super over the top technical, but they were really enjoyable to listen to, especially towards the bridge area. Um, and the breakdowns hit really hard when they needed to. Man, they they, they dropped into some very gentle lows. Uh, a couple times in there but overall like I think my favorite part like I said is that bridge where they kind of mix the gent elements in with the technical elements in with some more like I'd say more like a heavy metal classic riff sound um, it just made for a really great combination it was really nice to hear uh, the rest of the instruments on fire as always um, I wouldn't say they're too much of a standout. The drums did carry the rhythm very well. However, this is a, once again, very guitars-driven track, very vocals-driven track, which I'm liking the addition of the additional clean vocals. Um, they are creating quite an interesting dynamic that I'm vastly, vastly enjoying. Um, so I, th I think it's the Screamer. I know the Screamer is doing some of them because I saw them in the video for Snowblood. But it might be a third person too. I'm not, I'm not totally sold on that. You guys will have to let me know. However, really, really solid stuff there. Um, the song is kind of incredible in a sort of way because it combines so many different elements. Like it feels like a really long progressive epic, but it's like four minutes long. It doesn't outstay its welcome at all. At all. I am losing my ability to talk. Maybe if I pull these off, I can actually hear myself think. Um, but overall, I'm just liking the mix-ups, man. They're doing such a great job of blending in some of their more old-school, heavier sounds with some of their newer, more technical, progressive, like, styles and kind of mashing it together in a way that comes off still very cohesive. Like, there wasn't a whole, there wasn't a part of that song where I felt taken out of it by a weird transition or anything like that. Um, so overall, really satisfied with that. I'm going to have to give these guys a solid 9.8 out of 10. Um, really just, it would take something mind blowing to top these two tracks. And if there's an album coming up soon, I'm fucking really, really eager to check that out. Uh, speaking of albums, the next video I have coming up here, I'm about halfway through editing it still. Ah, oh, dragging my feet on this one. I sort of got is the Hungry Lights second album. Um, I have a bunch of albums in the leeway. I might release a quick little vlog kind of update on that sort of thing just so you guys know what's going on there. However, past that, I won't waste too much more of your time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, da, 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 yeah, that's it for me, guys. Take care. Peace.